Hi, I'm Michael from the Maker Shed, and today I'm going to show you how to build this Geiger counter kit. All right, so we got our Geiger counter kit all put together here, and uh, we're gonna turn it on. And when you do this, be really careful. You don't wanna touch anything on the back here because there's high voltage running through it that drives the, uh, the Geiger tube. So we'll go ahead and turn it on, and uh, it's probably gonna pick up a little bit of background radiation. Now to test this, not many people have radioactive stuff laying around their house, um, so I borrowed this piece of depression glass from a friend, and uh, this apparently they used to use uranium in it, and this is a newer piece, so we'll see if it has uh, any radioactivity to it. And as you can tell, it is slightly radioactive. The guy said it was depleted uranium, and I guess it's not all the way depleted, and it still has a little bit in there, and you can hear it going. I wonder what else in the house could be radioactive. So I read somewhere that smoke detectors were uh, radioactive. They use a radioa uh, radioactive element in the uh, part of the detection unit for the smoke particles. And uh, so I've always kind of wondered how radioactive it is. And you can see right there it says caution radioactive material. Um, so we'll see how much, if any, uh, gets out of there and what it does. We'll go ahead and turn our Geiger counter back on here and run it over the little radioactive holder. It looks like the casing does a pretty good job holding the radioactivity in there, but there is some leaking out, as you can hear there. So I wonder if there's anything else in the house that's radioactive. So I decided to walk around the house with the Geiger counter to see if I could find anything else that's radioactive. My dog Moose is not, but this granite table given to us by our, my mother-in-law is a little bit radioactive. As you can see, let me turn the Geiger counter on here. It does set it off just a little bit. And I guess it's a normal thing for granite tables to do, but nothing that I expected to happen. So it's a little kind of shocking. I'm going to have to research why a granite table would set off a Geiger counter. But it's just one of the things you can do when you have a Geiger counter. Um, you can just check things for radioactivity. This is a really good way to get yourself a Geiger counter. Uh, it doesn't cost too much. It's a lot cheaper than buying a pre-made one. Uh, the build isn't bad at all, as you can tell. And it's just a really neat thing to have because, well, who doesn't want a Geiger counter? 